Hi folks, this is Brian from Soulful Fitness Roller Skate Training. And oops, there on the right goes Mariella, taking a light fall while she's trying to figure out how to transition from that low seated T-stance to something else. So this is the dolphin breakup. Not so much a detailed point by point breakdown or tutorial, but more of a display of how I explain certain complex moves like this dolphin for instance. The most important aspect is some of the freezes at certain points, where I take the time to transfer a little more verbal information than usual to the trainees. Because I strongly believe that knowing what you do and knowing what to avoid is absolutely instrumental to efficient and safe skill development. With this uh, dolphin exercise we take things from the core to the floor, where you can really experience that effective alignment of the entire body is absolutely key to fast adaptation. Once that principle is fully understood, then it's a lot easier to use that same principle while you're developing your skills when skating upright. Floor exercises in general take a lot of upper body strength, a lot of core strength, and keeping strict form is very, very important to not only maximize all benefits from this type of training, but also to avoid injuries. And the really cool thing is, you get a full body workout in a fun and funky way. So unless you have some serious or painful mobility issues, it's really worth it to include some aspects of floor moves into your own training regimen on a regular basis. Now let's check out what's going on here. The leg drop after the front kick acts like a catalyst to the actual dive when the hands need to be placed on the floor. In order to make sure that Jana and Mariella don't smack themselves face first into the floor, I have them freeze their position right after swinging the leg all the way back. So the leg swings back, the hip hinges back also, which brings the body in a good position to do a safe and clean drop down and push up. Building in such a freeze in this sequence lessens the impact when placing the hands on the floor and gives a little extra time to be aware and work on good body alignment. Adding just a little more information gives the trainees also time to get ready for the next attempt. Cause this is really tiring, but also at the same time very, very satisfying. Floor moves are very challenging and require uh, not only a lot of strength, but also a lot of awareness to get things fluent. In a move like this, for instance, it is really important to learn how to keep the core engaged. Not keeping the core engaged usually results in the back caving in while doing the push-up, which makes it impossible to get back up again. You can see me addressing this issue exactly right here. So many things you have to keep in mind before you get to a certain level of fluency. And although it looks like Marielle is putting up quite a struggle here, she does get it right eventually. Uh, regarding this dolphin, I have another snippet up, uh, which only details and focuses on the drop down from a squat position. I'll put the link up in the description of this video. So this is all I wanted to share about the dolphin for now, which brings us to the end of this video where we're going to take a look at Jana and Mariella's last attempt. Right after that, I'm going to leave you with one clean version of the dolphin. And oh, by the way, keeping the swing leg off the floor after swinging it back kind of resembles the tail of the dolphin and adds an extra layer of difficulty to the whole thing. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and make it funky.